When you hear the word steel, your mind probably jumps to strong buildings, heavy machinery, or even kitchen knives. But not all steel is the same. In fact, there are many types of steel, each tailored to different applications. Among them, two of the most commonly compared types are stainless steel and regular steel. At first glance, they may look similar. Both are metals. Both are strong. Both are used across a wide range of industries. But when you dig deeper, you'll realize that the differences between them are more than just surface level. In this video, we're going to explore what truly separates stainless steel from regular steel, from their chemical makeup and physical properties to their real-world uses, advantages, and drawbacks. Let's dive in, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with what these metals are made of. Steel, in general, is an alloy, primarily composed of iron and a small amount of carbon, usually less than 2%. This combination gives it strength and flexibility. However, regular steel, often referred to as carbon steel or mild steel, doesn't go far beyond this basic recipe. That means it's strong, but it comes with some serious limitations, especially when exposed to moisture and air. That's where stainless steel steps in. Stainless steel takes the iron-carbon formula and supercharges it by adding chromium, at least 10.5% of it. This simple addition changes everything. Chromium forms a passive layer of chromium oxide on the surface, which acts as a shield, preventing rust and corrosion. Some stainless steels also include nickel, molybdenum, or other elements to enhance specific properties like resistance to chemicals or extreme heat. Corrosion is one of the most important factors when deciding between stainless steel and regular steel. Regular steel, when exposed to moisture, oxygen, and time, begins to rust. Rust not only weakens the metal structurally, but also makes it unsightly and eventually unusable. Stainless steel, on the other hand, resists rust brilliantly. Thanks to its chromium content, it doesn't react with water and oxygen the same way. Even when scratched or damaged, the chromium oxide layer quickly reforms, maintaining its protective barrier. That's why stainless steel is the go-to material in marine environments, kitchens, medical tools, and even in skyscrapers exposed to the elements. It's built to last in ways regular steel simply can't match without coatings or frequent maintenance. Now you might be wondering, which one is stronger? The answer isn't black and white. Regular steel actually has a wide range of grades and can be made extremely strong through processes like heat treating. Carbon steels can be harder and tougher than some stainless steels, especially when higher carbon content is involved. However, stainless steel offers a different kind of durability, not just in terms of mechanical strength, but in terms of resilience. It maintains its integrity under stress, extreme temperatures, and corrosive conditions. This makes it ideal for environments where structural failure is not an option. So while regular steel might win in sheer tensile strength under certain conditions, stainless steel often outlasts it in the long haul due to its environmental resistance. From a visual perspective, stainless steel is usually shinier and sleeker, which is why it's commonly used in consumer products like appliances, jewelry, and architecture. It maintains its luster without the need for painting or special coatings. Regular steel, unless protected, can become dull, rusty, or even flake. This leads to higher maintenance costs over time. Often, regular steel has to be painted, powder-coated, or galvanized to delay rust. These extra layers can wear off, requiring reapplication. In contrast, stainless steel is low maintenance. It can be cleaned easily and retains its look for decades, even in harsh environments.
Of course, all this performance comes at a price. Stainless steel is significantly more expensive than regular steel. The added elements like chromium and nickel, plus the complex manufacturing process, contribute to the higher cost. That's why it's not always the best choice for every application. In industries where rust isn't a major concern, like construction projects in dry environments or for internal structural components, regular steel makes more sense financially. But in high moisture areas or for products that require a polished finish, stainless steel pays off in the long run. You spend more up front, but you save on repairs, replacements, and upkeep. Because of these fundamental differences, the uses of stainless steel and regular steel vary greatly. Regular steel is widely used in the construction of buildings, pipelines, machinery frames, and automotive parts. Its strength and affordability make it ideal for structural applications where it can be painted or coated. Stainless steel, by contrast, shines in more demanding environments. You'll find it in surgical instruments, food processing equipment, aerospace components, and high-end home appliances. Even in architecture, it's used decoratively on facades, railings, and sculptures because of its modern look and long-lasting beauty. Essentially, if an object must withstand water, chemicals, or weather exposure, stainless steel is often the better choice. So what's the real difference between stainless steel and regular steel? It all boils down to performance versus cost. Regular steel is strong, economical, and ideal when corrosion isn't a concern. Stainless steel, while more expensive, offers unbeatable resistance to rust and corrosion, requires less maintenance, and has a longer lifespan in harsh conditions. Both have their place, and their choice depends on the job at hand. Whether you're a builder, a designer, or just someone curious about the materials around you, understanding the difference can help you make smarter decisions in everything from construction to cookware. The next time you touch a railing, use a knife or ride in an elevator. You'll know exactly why stainless steel might have been chosen over its regular counterpart. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.